Hello, this is Dora Tarver from e-projectmanagers.com and uh, in this lesson we're going to learn some basics about how to set up your project schedule. Now typically in project launches uh, you will probably see a few things pop up and what I recommend is you should first go to your menu option tools and select options and configure your environment so that you can work from there. Um, basically some of the things that you'll want to do are make sure that your date format is set up to reflect your start and finish dates in the format that you would like to see them in. So you can set up your, you can set up your date format in your project schedule from this drop down list box. Personally, I like to see the uh, day, date, and time. Um, and on this screen, that's pretty much all that, on this uh, tab, that's pretty much all that I'll change. On the general tab, I'll usually set open last file on startup, because typically I'm in a schedule that I'm working on, and I'll want to come back to it when I, when I come back in to the program. So if you check on open last file on startup, then the last file you're working on will automatically open. The other thing that I have checked here is recently used list. In other words, if you're working on multiple projects and you have multiple project schedules, you can see all the files that you've last used and you can define how many, um, you know, however many you want to be able to see, depending on how many project schedules you're working on. Of course, you'll have your username. Uh, you can also control your undo levels, meaning when you are in project and you, you know, want to change something, you hit, you hit undo. Uh, there, are, I, in my case, I have set the kept the default, which was 20. Uh, undo levels. Uh, and this is on the general tab. Um, on the edit tab, I usually don't change anything. On the calendar tab, I go in and I make sure that my work week is set up. So if it's an eight hour work day or a seven hour work day and let's say 32 hours a week, you can define your work day here. If your work day starts at 9 a.m. and ends at, in my case, let's say five, but let's say yours ended at six, you know, everyone you can control this, okay, um, via this. And once you've set this up, it'll appear all of your uh, tasks will be based within the time frame that you've defined here. Um, work week starts on a Sunday, or you can say it starts on a Monday or a Saturday. It depends on how you want to schedule things. Um, I usually leave everything else as default. I don't change anything with spelling. Um, Sometimes I will, depending on the environment I'm in, on the save tab, I'll make sure I auto save every so many minutes. Um, sometimes I find that helpful. Um, I generally allow project to automatically do the calculations, which I know can be an issue sometimes, which we'll get into in other versions, but I usually leave this on. I don't change anything under calculation. Um, and on the schedule tab, I don't change anything here as well. Let's just, I'm just looking through these other ones here. Under the un interface tab, um, I don't change this detail and for security I don't change that as well. So pretty much when you come in, um, views, I recommend changing your, your date format on the view tab. On the general tab, define if you want to view your last open file and how many files that you want to be able to see to select from have your name, your undo level set, and then on the calendar I define the work day. So it's pretty much a view general and calendar that I'll modify. Everything else I'll keep as default. Um, and then you just click on OK, it saves these changes. Um, another detail I want to point out to you I would call is basic formatting. When you create a project schedule, let's just say this is our test schedule here, I'm going to call this project um, test. That's the name of my project. And within project test, um, I have the standard project phases, initiation, oops, if I hit F2, by the way, you can automatically edit the field that you're in. So I enter my initiation phase, uh, planning phase, execution and control. I'm hitting F2 and then phase. 
and let's say clo close out phase. Now all of these phases I'm going to indent under the project name and of course within each phase there'll be various tasks that you'll set up and just for our test purposes I'm just going to write the word add tasks and um, I'm going to hit control insert and then shift insert to paste that in there I'm going to indent that shift insert here indent that shift insert here indent that and uh, within each phase is, within each phase besides having tasks I'll also have milestones um, so I'm just going to say add milestones and uh, I'm going to get into later specifically what task and milestones you'll want to add but for now this is just a placeholder so that you can see how I format these um, actually let me um, just copy the one that I have above here control insert shift insert insert key adds a new row shift insert adding the same thing that I copied hitting the insert key adds a new row shift insert adds that in there now for a milestone I'm going to change the duration to zero and of course your project schedule will have as many milestones as you need um, let's just say for task this is a three-day task this is a four-day task this is a two-day task this is a, a six-day task and um, let's just say I have a uh, final milestone for when the project is complete and the duration is zero okay now in terms of formatting the f one of the first things you're going to do once you um, start building your schedule is format the text for your tasks and for your milestones and for items that are on your critical path and the way you do that is you go to the menu item format and you select text styles and for milestones you select the milestone task from this drop down list box it says items to change I just selected milestone tasks and I'm going to change the color for all my milestones to be blue I'm not going to change the font although if you wanted to you could do that but I just want my milestones to be blue and you can see now all my milestones are blue anything that has a duration of zero is now blue um, another thing I typically do is I set my text tiles for um, critical tasks I want my critical tasks to appear red I want them to stand out so I'll know they're on the critical path and I can keep an eye out on them more easily so again you can change the font style and the font face and the size as well but I just typically change the color and then I click on OK um, now as you know um, f okay f right now there isn't a lot of detail in this project schedule um, let's say you also want to format your Gantt chart um, and I'm going to get back into the critical path here but first I want to show you something if you look at the date and days that you see here in the Gantt chart at the top where my mouse is pointing right now if you hold your mouse over this and right click select the menu item time scale <coughs> now you can see the same date day format that we were just looking at and um, we can change this so right now the time scale option for the remainder of this video lesson please go to www.e-projectmanagers.com thank you